All right, guys, we're playing Darius top lane again in the new patch. This time we're playing Darius versus a Remus top. And for the ruins, we actually got Conquer, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Hand, specifically Nimbus Cloak, and then also Celerity. Now, this game is going to be a really awesome one, and I'm honestly looking forward to it because Darius into off meta Remus is the best matchup you can play out. So Remus top lane is actually very annoying because Ramus top lane is being used by many people as a direct counter pick. However, we got to counter pick the Ramus instead, so. And Darius into Ramus is honestly fantastic, dude. I'll take that push immediately. My passive is gonna wreck him apart. That's flash. So I could have maybe predicted the flash and Q forward. Um but we'll play safe. I don't think that's going to kill him. I very much doubt it. Wait, but we can kill him under tower. To the by my Close. Right? You know, I'm actually kind of happy that it didn't land. Because I, if it landed, I would have actually lost uh, like 200, 300 HP. He leveled up right before I would hit the Q. Do not they got a Master Yi jungle. And Master Yi is a very bad pick in the early game against me. I can definitely 1 versus 2 if Master Yi comes. So I'm prepared. How did that not land, bro? <laughs> that was going to be a kill right there. The world will Way too close. Chaos. So the thing is that Ramus can taunt me under tower. So it's a good time to be careful here. I was trying to be lucky with the tower. I was hoping that I would kill him and then walk out of tower range before the second would hit. But yeah, it doesn't matter. It's fine. It's okay. He's got lucky a couple times. Now, fortunately, um, we actually killed him. The wave is pushing in my direction, which is nice because if you pay close attention, we got a Pantheon topside. I think we can probably get another kill if we drag the wave to the wall right here. Give it a try. Yep, we got Pantheon on the way. Just be aware though, the, the wave is massive, so... I'm dragged the wave a little bit. We can stun him. Just one stun. I'm very close to it. I'm not in range. I'll see if I can drop them both. Nice. Perfect play. Got him. So this is a very strategically very good play. Because as we were chasing down uh, the Ramas and also Master Yi showing up at the same time, we had the wave pushing in my direction. So while that fight was going on, while we were fighting these people, the wave was completely destroying my wave which means that Ramus actually lost a lot of XP a lot of gold as the fight continued so that made it like worth like a lot and we also saved my uh my Jonah from dying using that grab like we've done before so that was a fantastic play I'm not gonna lie that was really good seems like Ramus is now farming between towers that's a way to counter me if he's in a bad matchup Yeah, he's doing that part. I knew he was going to do that. Pretty much every Ramus I see does that if he, if they play top lane. They always try to like farm between towers so they can use their W. To reflect and then put it back on the wave. That's like part of the strategy. So first things first, I'll just sell all of these things. And we are directly building mercs, okay? He's doing it again. This Ramus has experience. This Ramus knows what he's doing, to some extent. Smart guy. Smart Ramus. I'll give this guy credit for what he's doing. Not every Ramus I see does this. The way how he does it. However, he messed up big time, because I can actually cancel it. Turns out he walked all the way back, which is a great thing. That's fantastic for me. 
because if he resets, I can actually go for the plates and they'll have the exact same trade. Because he went for my plates, now I get his plates. So we're not losing anything. We've got mercs, so we can uh, counter Ramus with it. There you go, look. We got a plate. So it doesn't matter at the end. Ramus is losing just as much as I did. I'm not going to go for that one. It's very unlikely that I'm actually going to get that plate. So instead what I'm going to do is I'll just reset. I will buy the next item. I think I might not even do that because it ends up like him farming between towers again. Yep, this guy is definitely good. Goodbye. Yeah. I expected that to happen. I felt it. I could have altered the mastery a bit sooner though. I almost I, I was almost in grab range. So he's trying to taunt me under tower. Remember that guys. Ramus can taunt you in there and completely kill you like this. So if you get too close. You're going to die. He's definitely trying to taunt me under tower. I'm not going to fall for it. Let's go back. We're going to not let that happen. It won't. Okay, let's run back. As fast as we can. So this is like the beautiful thing about Ramus. Ramus had, has a lot of wave clear potential, but only if the wave is actually directly focusing him. If the wave can't focus Ramus, his wave clear is a lot worse. So the fact that I'm resetting right now and him not being able to clear this out puts me in a very fortunate position because I can freeze the lane right now if I want to. However, since we have Tiamat, I can also just push it immediately and then also take plates for free. So, we kind of outplay the Ramus right now using this build. I purposely go Strike Breaker for this reason, so we actually have a lot of wave clear. And we have another one. Plus, we have my teammates ready. We've got my teammates in position. So, what I'm going to do is I'll move up aggressively. I think that Ramus will probably show. And he's dead. Again, I messed it up. Seems like Master Yi is top again. This Master Yi is playing around top lane like a lot. I've been noticing it. Oh, seems like Pantheon still got him. Okay. We take this part. And we are good to go. Master Yi is actually taking this one right now, and I'm actually perfectly fine with that. If I were to cancel my backboard, I would have to face off both Ramus as well as Master Yi, and I don't have a lot of HP at the moment, so it's better to back off. Bot lane seems to be mega losing in the game at the moment, so it's going to be a challenging one for sure. We'll, uh, we'll see how that's going to go. It's going to be a tough game. Okay, let's go. Pantheon's up here. I'm going to see if I can... Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, it's going to be tanking the whole wave. Unfortunately, I can't walk up. It's not worth it. It's better for me to go for this wave. Good push. Let's see if we can get him. Well. Yep. That's what Ramus does. That's what the strategy is all about. You farm between towers and you force your opponent or your, your jungler to walk at you and then you survive it afterwards. It's, uh, it's the same strategy like Sion does. Do the exact same thing. 
Let's grab this. Got the final plate. We need to get tower down too. It's not needed necessarily. Rams is already back. Okay, let's go. So, Stride Breaker it is, and then after Stride Breaker, it's very likely that we're going to start building into Trinity. Um, yeah, let's do it. I was thinking of going for Devas play this game, but they have far too much AP in their, in their comp. So that's just not going to work. Interesting. Yeah, uh, my, uh, my teammates are ultra losing the game. It's gonna be a fun one. <laughs> it's something we're gonna have to turn around. After we take the next wave, I'll see if I can do a rotation, possibly farm the uh, mid, and then see if I can get kills around like other lanes. Because uh, staying top isn't going to work. Because Ramus will keep on farming between towers for the rest of the game to prevent me from snowballing it. Let's go. The bot lane tower, the second tower, is all also gone already. This guy's getting wrecked at the moment. Nice. I'll take the camp. Because moving down to bot lane is not worth it at the moment. So instead I'll just take the camp and then we move back here. This war is just beginning. And there we go. After this wave, we try to do the same rotation. Uh, Ramus, this Ramus is like very deep down those towers. Super annoying. <laughs> There's a triple farm difference in bot lane. It's actually going pretty bad at the moment. I might have to force to uh, force to farm between this tower too since Ramus is already showing up in the like right here okay and let's see if we can grab blue no blue this brand is worth so much gold uh, I hope that Camille could prioritize this guy but I think I might already get him myself. Yep. That's lots of gold. There's no Camille ultimate anymore. That's a lot of gold I just gained from Brand. Good push. 1.8k at the moment. Before we decide to go back... Check how this is gonna go. No, never mind. Okay, we're gonna go into Chundi straight away. I was hoping I could go Demis Blade, but that's just not going to work. More attack speed? Slightly more, and then we also go into Blue Trinket. Let's go. Funny enough, like, Ramus is actually worth gold at the moment. Unbelievable. <laughs> Oh, he's trying to run it down for the tower, huh? I'll grab the wave. Now we go back to mid after. We need to keep the game moving. They're all going up there. My teammates are 100% dead. Kind of unlikely we're gonna beat this unless we have Camille up here. Don't have my ultimate. He'll probably try and steal it. I can't do anything about this. Oh. 
Okay. Well, welcome to the life of Darius. This is just the way it is. We end up killing the entire enemy team, including getting all their gold. Amazing, dude. And that's gonna push in. It's got Chundi. Good. The next item I'm gonna go for is very likely to be Force of Nature. I actually think I'm gonna go into Spirit Visage. But Force of Nature is super nice here too. Um, I think I might actually go for this one. There's a reason for that. They have Brand AP, they got Nami, they have Ari. I usually don't build Force of Nature, but I think that in this game, this item is so good. And then uh, after Force of Nature, we will probably go into Thornmill. Probably. It kind of depends. Might even go to Gauge. Probably can get more. I'm not going to spawn this thing yet. Wait. Let's just spawn straight away. Dude, it actually just happened. Feels bad, man. I want to click it, but it sends me off the other direction. Thank you, game. Uh, really? Ah, uh, feels bad, man. It actually happens again. Funny enough, I have, I've got two deaths this game, and they're both exactly the same. Because I actually just died the same exact way. Just unfortunately getting hit by the last tower hit. I was hoping that uh, I would be fast enough to not get hit by the by the last tower hit. I was unlucky again. Yeah, whatever. All right, the next item we're going for um, is very important. So we have a choice to make now. We can we can go either into damage play, which provides 5% movement speed, or we can go into Steric's Gauge, which provides 20% tenacity. Now, we actually already have tenacity in this game since we have uh, Merc. So what I'm thinking of doing is... I think I'm just going to go damage play anyways, so I can have the 5% uh, movement speed. And... Um, I think that and like once we get get to the late game, um, the last item will be Thormill. So that's what I'm thinking. Lots of movement speed allows me to easily beat the game. Got it. Master Yi actually just cheesed that thing real quick. Got everything. I was actually trying to be efficient farming the jungle camps and taking the wave but Pantheon ulted it. So it's fine, whatever. Yeah, Brent is very strong. It's, I can't even move against Brent. Surprised I've even got him. <laughs> Absolutely unplayable against them. Let's grab this. I'll uh, push it out as far as I can. Hopefully getting tower and then we go back afterwards. So after we get this one, uh, Brand will be spawned now. So first, I'm gonna let the wave go down so Brand doesn't actually get the cannon, and then we take it afterwards. Yeah, he's here right now. Got it. Goodbye. Something like 800.
What? Sidestep. <laughs> I'm getting perma slowed. I can't move. That slow is like infinite. Did I really miss that grab too? Like, that just makes things like 10 times worse. Got him. Yo, I missed my Q, which was okay. Like, I purposely hit the Q first. Not with the intention of necessarily hitting it, but trying to hit it. Without using grab, but I missed my grab straight away. My grabs this game are kind of terrible, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely not proud of them. There's like two grabs and Rems 2 before. I got 2.8 now. And let's go back. Okay, we finally have the Deadman's Plate, which will certainly help with the MS. Ah, okay. Never mind, I guess. We are all... Goodbye, dude. <laughs> 4,000 gold. Let's go. That's a lot of gold. Seems like also there's two people up there. We can fight that. We don't have Rumble, though. Uh, never mind. I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna 1 versus 3 by myself. Not doing it. Let's go Thormill. These guys are going super, super deep for this. He's about to go down, if I can get to him. Couldn't reach the Ramus. Unfortunate. And he actually got Drake. Worst part. Uh, we just have Pantheon here. It's not enough. Never mind. Will be a tough game. My AD carry is just not an AD carry at the moment. This guy's too far behind. He will never make it back in the game. It's too much. Let's push another one. Three people are mid, so I can stay around for a bit more. I don't care if the second tower goes down, because I don't think I can change that anyways. It's very unlikely. I'm super strong, but that brand is like... Impossible to beat for me. Unlikely? Okay. Yeah, Brent's still there. That's the, <laughs> that's the point. We're not done yet. Yeah. Okay. Great. Did you think someone would see? Yeah, I don't think that we can do it, uh, like, unless we can stop Brand. If he presses R, he's going to get a Penta for sure, bro. It's going to be close. Let's see how it goes. Hope I'm wrong. Brand doesn't seem to show. 
Okay. This brand is not showing at all. So he apparently didn't didn't have the time to get to Baron. Yeah, there you go. He easily gets a kill now. I'm not surprised by it. Not there. I'm taking this so that Ramus can steal it away. Even though, in theory, I'm full build right now. Got my item. And we've got the potion. So there's one more thing that we need. We are maxed out. We got the full build. We're just missing my level 18 to make me the strong as possible. Thank you. I love Kumi on the late game. <laughs> this guy's support. Support Kumi is so nice in the late game because you can just like stop people from uh, running off. Meanwhile, bot lane, two people absolutely wrecking it. We have nobody, no one to defend, unfortunately. This brand is like always splitting in the game. Tough one. So, like, the most ideal way of, like, playing the game out would be to be on the side lanes and then pushing it out really far and then seeing if I can, like, flank someone uh, in the game, right? Unfortunately, Brent is completely splitting by himself and I just can't beat him by myself. I need my teammates too because there's a support chasing him all the time. The worst part is that these guys are all ranged. So it's all fun. When I get to them. But I can't walk into them. I need my teammates to do something. No! That was so close to a Penta, man. That was so close to a Penta. No. <laughs> oh, too bad. You were almost there. Well, that dragon should be ours. I'll uh, quickly help with this wave and then I'm going to move to Drake afterwards. Got it. Ah, Remus is like protecting it. He's running way too quickly. Doesn't seem to be there yet. We have like nearly 5,000 gold, so let me quickly reset and buy the next item. Yep. Uh, let's actually go ahead and buy Spare for Zotch. I'm just gonna go for more MR at this point. I prefer more magic resist otter than the... Uh, I, don't, I don't need armor. Dude, what? Okay. What? My this team fight is going so weird. I actually lost like f like four kills in a row or something. They all they all get away. <laughs> Unbelievable. Slaughter. 
My AD carry has one item at 31 minutes in the game. It's really making the game tough though. I am not gonna lie. Brenda's like full build. There's like a four item difference. It's very bad. It's currently what's preventing us from like turning the game. And let's go bot lane. Hey, Dreamland, thank you for the sub prime. Thank you for supporting me with subbing. Thank you, man. The thing is, I can't actually get any strong anymore. I have like 3,000 gold and there's nothing I can use it on. However, I can't just let bot lane be pushed in and not taking it. Because that would mean that we lose pressure immediately. And that means that the enemy team can just walk up. So I'm still, like, I'm still forced to take the wave despite being completely full build. It's the worst part. There's not much that, that can be done about it. We just need, like, one good team fight. You know, somehow getting to ult everyone. Great. Again, the Rams is actually getting away. And Brent is in bot lane. If I could somehow get close to him, I don't think I can, but... Zonius again. Well, good. Yo, where's the team? Where's my teammates going? I just need my team. That's it. You can get the nips out. I'm getting perma slowed. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to live from that, man. Somehow I still managed to make it out. Let's see if I can steal the blue buff away. Oh, it's already gone. Okay. Well, things working out. Uh, Rumble basically inted for that moment, but it's worth. My support has more items <laughs> than my AD carry this game. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Kinda very rare to see. You don't typically see that very much. It's very rare. Yeah, that dragon is gone. It's not much we can do about it. Ooh. Still getting him after all. Yep. We just need one guy to defend bar lane and we just push mid. That's going to be the way to do things. Nah, Brent's gonna be here. Oh, so many flashes this game. Hmm. Wish I had the reset. Oh, 
davon. What if Rumble would just wins it? He did. He does. He actually wins that. Oh. <laughs> oh. The, the brand just did it himself. I did not expect that one. Okay. All right. GG. 80 carries taking care of Ramus. We're finishing the game. <laughs> <laughs> we actually still we win the game like look 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 how far behind my 80 carry is we won the game gg man but uh either way this is darius top lane thank you for watching today's darius video and i'll see you guys next time peace